Hello from the Bayer Water Utilization Learning Center. My name is Alex Rosa, Learning Center Agronomist. And in today's video, we are going to talk about interseeding cover crops. So we're going to show you several ways to interseed, specifically cereal rye into corn and also soybeans, as well as the advantages of doing that practice early in the season and also late as we have those two moments or key moments to intercede, but also uh, if you want to drill after those crops or even after wheat. So stay with us because you're going to learn some of our management practices. When we think about interceding cover crops, but also implementing cover crops after uh, cash crops, we need to think about the time that we have available, right? So for example, if we had wheat, such as here in the back, we have a really nice time window that goes anywhere from mid-July to late October to implement those cover crops. And that's what we have here. We have sorghum sudam, sudam grasses. There are warm season crops that it can be established right after wheat, right? But that will depend on the objective if you want to suppress winter annual weeds such, such as horseweed or even downy brome. Having cover crops will help out. Or if you want to put a legume crop, the earlier you put, more chances of fixing that nitrogen desired for for your future crop will be better. And also, uh, we are going to stop by a, a soybean field to talk about the interseeding and later uh, in the corn field, just to, so you see alternatives to gain time to have those ecosystem services. Thanks. All right, so to get started with our topic, first stop would be here on a soybean field. Uh, we came here on August 16, so roughly 10 days ago, to broadcast cereal rye. Beans were at R5 growth stage, so like I said, we broadcast cereal rye and, and we intend to do another couple of times before harvest and then come and drill to compare the broadcast at different timings with a, a drilled application or a drill planting uh, later in October. So like I said in the beginning, the idea here is to gain time, so the interseeding process is, is a matter of gaining time for that cover crop to get established. So by the time we harvest those beans, cereal rye will be established and do the ecosystem service that are supposed to be done. Now, if you wanna come down and take a look on the stand that we had. Uh, so 10 days ago, we can start seeing some of the rye uh, coming up. I was measuring, we have about seven inches on some of them. Uh, the distribution, of course, when you broadcast can be variable, right? We, we do have, some good distribution in some spots, others not that much, but we're going to be able to evaluate as soon as we harvest here, we'll do a, an aerial picture for this then. Okay. When we think about interseeding in corn at late stages, such as this one where the canopy is pretty much closed, very few sunlight comes through. Uh, there are some challenges, of course, when broadcasting, we can see it's still some seeds that we broadcasted uh, here in the ground without their germination. But we also see cereal rye coming up, such as this plant. So the challenge here is to timely put this rye. We are going to see again seeding a couple weeks from now. But another alternative for corn is to actually implement before canopy closure. So early stages such as V3, V4 where then you can drill with special equipment. Otherwise, just wait until late stages and broadcast that. Or lastly, uh, drill when we finish harvest of corn. Okay, so in this video, we learn more about interseeding cereal rye specifically into soybeans and corn. Main takeaways would be for soybeans, we have a easy way to broadcast since the, the canopy is, is smaller, right? So any equipment that can broadcast rye would work in that case, even though the canopy closure may limit cereal rye germination. If you have irrigation, that helps a lot. That's what we did in our first video here that you saw on beans. When we move to corn, of course, we will require a high clearance equipment where we can broadcast that seed later in the season. Otherwise, another option is, like I said, uh, drill the cover crop when corn is V3, V4, or if you don't have that availability, just wait until you harvest those summer crops and then implement by drilling 
which gives you a better chance to get a good establishment. We are going to come up with future videos, videos on how to implement cover crops in the fall. Thank you very much. Shoot us any questions if you have. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this video from the Gothenburg Water Utilization Learning Center. For more information, please call 308-537-4500.